Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a new video for you and it's all on head wraps, as you can see by the title. Uh, this is something I love to do with my hair, especially when I'm deep conditioning under, because no one knows and I can just have it on the go, walk around, still do stuff and still look fabulous with a head wrap on. And yeah, I just thought I would show you my favorite go-to head wrap hairstyles and the different types of fabric I use because this one is a bit more satiny. I have like an actual scarf that I use as well, which is really soft and more from um, cotton. And then I also have like different kinds of African cloth um, or Ankara cloth that I use as well. So in the video you'll see all the different kinds of cloths I use and different styles that I like to do. And yeah, let's just get right on into the video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, like it, comment below, tell me what you like and if you don't like it as well, but I think you like it. Until the next one. So like I said, I usually deep condition under my head wraps and on this day I did as well. Also all my clots I get from clot shops or just find around. I also got this silky one from Lush which is a really good place to get some nice head wraps and silky ones especially because they have so much nice prints. With this first one I'm just taking a big piece and putting it behind my head and also centering it. That's really important just so I can get the two corners to be almost equally. Then I'm just tying a knot. After the knot is tied, I'm just going to make sure that it sits in place and it's not like squeezing my ear and just continue knotting because that's the best method I find. The best thing to do with head wraps is to just play around with them, especially when you're first starting to work with them. Like this one is a super easy turban and all you have to do is just continue tying and tucking so that you get the perfect shape. It can be a lot bigger and it can be a lot smaller depending on your clot. And this is the final look. I totally love this one. So me, super showstopper look. Second one is using this beautiful cloth that's pink. I think it's perfect for summertime. Like with a nice pink dress on or a nice yellow dress. I think it'll look fabulous. This one is also has like raw edges. So I'm just going to make sure that that's like not showing. And then start by putting it at the front of my head, twirling all the fabric together on one side and then just wrapping it from one side of my head to the next. This one is quite easy and doesn't take too much effort. You can play around with this, you can make it a lot more bigger, you can also braid it if you have two pieces. And yeah, I just thought that the cloth that stuck out there looked nice, but I just tucked it in. And this is also one super easy final look. How about that one? Two looks from one type of headscarf and look at this this is so simple you just take all the leftover and twist 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 and then you twist it into like a bun then you have your own little bun in the back of your head I think it's so cute and you don't have to put too much effort into it and it's very simple this is one of my favorite clots I really love this one a lot the pattern is so beautiful and yeah, I'm just centering the claw again in the middle of my head and hiding that white part which looks a bit off. You can let it show but I chose not to. And then I'm just crisscrossing both sides to create like this effortless um, crisscross effect and then tying it at the front, tucking in some pieces at the back because we do, yeah, or we can be flexible with the claw because it's all about creativity, right? Once it's tucked in, I tie it into a knot and then continue tying. There was one little piece that was just dangling, so I pulled that away. <laughs> so for this look, I just continued making knots and then tucking in the last few pieces into each other. I think that's super essential when you have head wraps, just tucking and pulling and knotting kind of, and then also fluffing and creating your own kind of style. Then this is the next one. I'm actually going to show you how I kind of create a bow, even though it's not a bow. <laughs> if your claw is a bit longer, you can actually tie it into a bow, which will look super cute. And yeah, I just kind of formed and shaped the claw along and made a cute little bow. So 
one of my first shots I actually got and what I'm doing here is just wrapping it around my head to create this kind of uh, effortless smooth transitional wrap a lot of times when I do this it does come out a lot more neat however it just takes some playing with and it depends on the hairstyle because if my hair is actually loose I do tend to have some more grip and the clot sits a bit more smooth on my head compared to with this bag over because it is a bit slippery so I was just struggling a bit and then also like I said just tucking and wrapping and folding and carving So once I wrap the clock completely around my head, I then take the last piece and tuck that under one of the first pieces or first parts and then kind of form it into how I would like it to look. So this is one of my kind of cotton scarves that I've used. It's actually a scarf itself, but I do use it as a head wrap. Um, I would say that with a garbage bag on, or a plastic bag I must say, that is white on your head, it's a bit tricky so look at the cloth that you're using as well because if I actually had to go on the road with this one, you would see my bag under my head and I would not want you to. But for this video I think it came out actually super cute, just don't look at the white bag under my head, just pretend that's a black bag <laughs> holding in my deep conditioner. I think for the most part the video is self-explanatory like you can look at what I'm doing and actually see how pretty easy it is to do head wraps they are so creative and it's just up to you and up to the mood that you're in what helps me all the time is just some music on and getting inspired and my last head wrap is of course at my silky scarf because it's one of my favorites I actually sleep with this every night to help preserve my curls and I can see myself rocking this kind of look in the summertime because it's super lightweight and it just gives you that kind of bohemian look like super effortless. Imagine that scarf on with like a really nice dress with your shoulders out and just some nice lip flops on. Amazing! The second way that I would wear this scarf as well is just tying a knot in the front and then tucking all of the excess pieces away. This is my last look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know which headscarf was your favorite and tag me in any pictures that you actually make of any. See you in my next video. Until the next time.